In today's video, we're opening an old school Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another collection purchase video. Inside we have somewhat of a mystery, I have seen some of the cards, but I do know that this is a really nice collection. More quality over quantity, not gonna be a massive collection, but I am very excited to open this package up, so let's get right to it. All right, there was a couple things in that package. Let's do our giveaway first. We are giving away these three Korean Yu-Gi-Oh packs. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below. What do you think about this collection? Let's just get to it. All right, so first we have Goat and Evis Edison giveaway or keep. Okay, so we just did a giveaway. So let's see what this is. What is this gonna be? If I can get this out very carefully. Okay, this is the booster bundle of 151. I have a few of these still, the uh, Pokemon set. Let's see, how does this open? I'm about to just rip this thing. No, 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 don't do it. Be patient, be patient. Don't rip it, don't rip it, don't rip it. Okay, there we go, there we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Find the, the spots of, of tape. Here's the problem, I don't remember how these things open. I remember they're kind of weird. There we go, okay, yeah, they're taped there as well. Maybe we figured it out, all right, sweet. Let's see what is inside. So, oh man, we got some some bangers already. Nova Summoner. What are these cards? Goat and Edison cards. We have Dupe Frog, Swap Frog, Ronin Toad in, Substitute. Okay, yeah, we're looking at some nice stuff. Artsler Christia, Barbaros, Foolish. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in here. I always forget that's an IOC. That's a nice card. MST, we have Book of Moon from Joey's World. Uh, okay, we've got a uh, German Mind Crush, I think. Trap Pole from LOB. That's an original with a little foil shift. That's pretty awesome. Solar Recharge. Just got a bunch of reprints, so probably not super valuable or anything, but still a very nice card. Classic Edison card. Very, very nice. The Armageddon Knight. The Stardust Dragon. So, isn't this banned in both Goat and Edison? I think it is. Uh, Berserk Gorilla. Cool. Uh, Knight Assailant. If you guys like Goat format, make sure you guys go check out Wheel to Goat, because we have uh, 10 episodes right now, so a lot of episodes that you guys can watch. It's been very fun. Heavy Storm, Upstart, uh, Graceful Giant Grenade. So yeah, very nice set of cards for Goat and Edison. These might be in a giveaway in the future because they were gonna, you know, he said for maybe a giveaway, but we've already done a giveaway. So maybe we'll do this in another video. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. All right, now for the, the main event, the binder. So let's get this thing out. If you guys are interested in any of these cards, most of them will be on Ruxin34.com. So go check out Ruxin34.com in the description or in the link in the comments or whatever down below. Or just go to Google, type in Ruxin34.com and my website will come up. You can go to the Yu-Gi-Oh! singles tab or whatever you know you, you'll be able to see it Yu-Gi-Oh singles yeah this is not a large binder as you can see let's see if I can I don't know what the front is which one's the front let's just open it up over here all right we are in binder mode sort of for mini binders I think this will work so let's check out the first page and right off the bat as you guys can see I'm gonna try to show this as best I can we've got some big stuff I mean we're looking at a misprint rainbow dragon right here ultimate rare chimera tech over dragon first edition for power of the duelist Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman from Elemental Energy. That's insane. And then a Cyber Dark Dragon from Cyber Dark Impact. So let's take a look at all these because these are all really, really nice cards. And let's see what condition they're in. I'm just going to pull them all out, actually, because I'm going to pull all these out for uh, when I evaluate the cards later anyway. So it's always fun to do a little conditioning on the videos for these big cards. So looks to me like the Chimera Tech definitely has some wear to it. As you guys can see right here, the edges are not good. Oh yeah, the uh, surface is pretty bad. The back is pretty nasty, as you can see. It's still a really sick card. In the sleeve, it actually looked pretty solid you could just see the edge wear that is probably a heavy play card there's no like big creases that i could see okay here's there's there's one right there it's a smaller one in the corner i mean this probably doesn't get the damage but it is it's borderline heavy play damage it's not in great shape it's got really bad corners but it is still a really sick looking card i mean check that thing out i flipped my camera so now i always think i need to go over here uh <laughs> it's, all, it's all messed up so beautiful looking card i'm gonna mark these as we go actually Okay, let's check out the Cyber Dark Dragon Ultimate Rare. I do have one of these available on my website, ruxa34.com, and PSA 10. That is actually consignment. It's not my copy. I still have one myself, but very cool card. Let's see what condition this one's in. This one looks a lot better already. So the... Man, check the foil out on that card. Beautiful looking. Okay, it's not perfect, obviously. There's like a, a ding up there, like a little pin dot at the top. There's some edge wear. There's a little bit of surface stuff as well, but overall much better condition on this card than there was on the uh, Chimera Tech. Definitely some scuffs on the back. So like with the pin dot and the scuffs, it's probably like mod play, but like I know that's only one condition up, but it's like more toward the nicer half of mod play versus that one is 
the heavy play chimera tech is like lower half of heavy play so there's kind of a range in each of them you know so it's kind of hard to tell sometimes like some people might even call that like light play i wouldn't because i think any like sort of pin dot or like bend or anything kind of knocks it down immediately okay let's see we have the elemental hero shining flare wingman this one appears to be nice in the sleeve so looks pretty good there is a tiny speck of edge wear at the top tiny little something on the edge there too surface looks for the most part clean from what i can tell wow, back looks really good too this is definitely the best looking card we've seen there is like a scratch right in the middle like a light scratch but it kind of goes through the middle right there i don't know if you guys could see that honestly this is like close to near mint i'll have to look at it a little closer but for now i think it might be considered near mint i mean even with a little bit of edge wear there gotta check the corners maybe but oh, is there something over here yeah there's a little something going on there i'm gonna have to take a second look at that one when I'm not on camera to make it because you know sometimes on camera I, I'm holding it at the angle so you guys can see it so it's not the most ideal angle for looking at all the spots but from what I can tell that looked much much nicer than the other two and the final of the first page the rainbow dragon these are some of the biggest cards I think so we definitely need to take a look at these obviously uh this one definitely has a bend in it somewhere okay so there's edge wear on the edge there seems to be some sort of like bend in the card I don't know what it is it's like a slight one but it's like the way the card is like hitting the light looks awkward there's some scratching on it and the back is pretty scuffed up this one i'm probably looking at mod play but it depends on how bad that bend is if like it's major or if it's just very minor so we'll check that out later still really sick card i mean that's a misprint card out of gladiators assault if you guys don't know the story basically uh they ended up putting chaos neos on the card in the rainbow dragon name this should be elements hero chaos neos but then in tactical evolution when it should have been rainbow dragon they also had this picture with rainbow dragon so like they messed it up big time in two different sets it's kind of interesting the effect version is the rarer one that one is not as rare that we just showed but it's still pretty amazing i mean it's one of the coolest misprints ever okay let's move on from that i know we were condition checking a lot all right speaking of the real rainbow dragon that's not a misprint let's take a look at these so we have uh elemental hero flare neos Beast Gold Dragon, that's a first ed. Okay, so I mean, see, look, there's there's some bangers in here. We've got the Legacy of Darkness Secret Rares between Yadagrasu and Injection Fairy Lily. I'm not going to check all these out um, on camera because it'll be here all day, but there's some good stuff. Here's the OG Rainbow Dragon and Honest. Very cool because this just got a reprint. Cool to see that. Same with these. These are the original ulties. We, I don't think I have my ulties of these from the opening anymore. They sold. Could have compared them. That would have been kind of fun, but very, very cool. I mean, this is a big page right here. I mean, these are all really, really big cards, especially the ghost shares. I mean, honest, you don't see a first day one of that very often. Yada and Injection Fairly are definitely fan favorites as well, though they're not that crazy expensive anymore. Okay, let's keep going. Oh man, Ancient Gear Golem. I forgot that was in there. Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Rare. Check that out. I'm sorry, you guys couldn't see that very well at first. Uh, it also has a Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. That's pretty amazing. Uh, Volcanic Shell, First Dead, Arm Dragon, Level 7. I mean, there's some really, really good cards in here. Really good cards. Mobius the Frost Monarch is beautiful. Rainbow Neos I may need for my uh, my binder, First Edition. Secret, because it's not like the high-end one. Sometimes I don't have those. Uh, you Bell, Secret Rare, The Ultimate Nightmare. Phenomenaga, the deity of poison snakes. I've come across so many of these, usually unlimited though. Okay, that's sick. We might come back and check out a couple of these at the end. We'll see. Rainbow Dragon, Secret Rare, and Rainbow Dark Dragon. I think I have one of those in your mint because I think we pulled one maybe at one point. Dark Lord Zarada, Judgment Dragon. Wait, if this is near mint, this could be our TCG player investment. <laughs> this could count because we never got it. Remember, guys? That's pretty cool. The Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Wow, there's some really good cards in here. That's a classic. Dark Arm Dragon Secret Rare from Phantom Darkness. Then we have uh, Elemental Hero Glow Neos Ultimate Rare. Elemental Hero Magma Neos. Don't forget all this stuff. Probably going to be on Ruxa34.com, so go check it out. Pretty cool stuff. And then an Ill Blood. Ooh, secret. We had one of these recently in really bad shape that we picked up at uh, Card Party, I believe. So that was pretty cool. Frost and Flame is one of the best looking cards. We got to take a look at it. I had one of these one time for the like first time I had ever had one. I was like, wow, this thing looks amazing. It looks super nice. The Secret Rare is super clean. Yeah, a little beat up. So most of this stuff's going to be probably modish play for the most part. But you know, that that Shining Flare Wingman looked pretty good. So maybe some of the other ones are like that. Dark Creator, Secret Rare. We have Dark Red Enchanter. Kind of makes sense there. Are these all the tactical level? I don't even remember a lot of these tactical evolution secrets. I've never even seen Cranium Fish before. In the comments, have you ever heard of Cranium Fish? Let me know. If you've heard of Cranium Fish, you might be an expert at Yu-Gi-Oh. You means you've been around for a long time, probably. Grandmaster of the Six Samurais is also a secret rare. Very, very nice. Plasma from the Tin. 
Bel Belial, Marquee of Darkness, Secret Rare. Elemental Hero Bubble Man. That's an unlimb, but that's super cool. That's like one of the first unlimbs I've seen. Test Tiger First Edition for Gladiator Beast back in the day. Neospatian Grand Mole Ultimate Rare. Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Grand Mole's pretty big. That's a pretty big card. Uh, Raigeki First Edition LOB. That is sick. Goblin Zombie. This could be in an Edison deck. I, these First Ed Secret Phantom Darkness ones are definitely ones I want to play if I'd ever do Diva Zombie, which I kind of have made a deck, I feel like. I haven't actually made myself one. I need to actually do that and put the, put one of these in there. Dark Reffer's super sick as well. Then Volcanic Rocket for all you uh, <laughs> Pyro fans out there. I know you get a lot of support all the time. All right, we have Harvest Angel of Wisdom. That one is a promo in Crosswords of Chaos Special Editions, I believe. Meltiel sage of the sky oh that's the one with the sanctuary in the sky yeah that's right nova summoner seeker that's pretty big for edison i've had one of these for sale in tcg for a while though and hasn't sold gillen duo gemini summoner abyssal king shark radiant gerald and aaron lightsworn monk that's a pretty expensive card as well i didn't realize that until we opened the reprint set and i was putting them up for sale and i was trying to compare them with the originals like wow that is really expensive like 50 bucks or something maybe more okay then we have a queen's knight just the queen's knight no king or jack's knight it looks like red tiari unlimited freya and the crystal beast sapphire pegasus ultra rare wolf lightsworn beast that is a super first edition though not the not the unlim not the reprint none of that mormolith armageddon knight first dead I think I actually need that for my uh, Diva Hero deck. I don't think I have a first ed version, so that might be going in there. Proto Cyber Dragon DR04. Those are always really fun to try and sell. And by fun, I mean really, really hard. They're super niche. They're kind of like Champion Pack. People really love DR04 and Champion Pack, or they don't care at all. So it's like certain people will buy them, but you might sit on them for a very, very long time. Uh, Retro Pack 1. Summon Skull. I got one of these from Gage in a trade a couple years ago. Allure of Darkness. That is a first ed ultimate rare. That is not messing around. Cyberdark Impact. That is not the set. That is the secret rare from Tactical Evolution. Uh, he has all the Tactical Evolution secrets. Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Crush Guard Virus of that GLD1. So that's the classic. That's that's pretty rare. That's pretty cool. Eradicator Epidemic Virus. This was big when uh, Labyrinth was huge. That was really expensive. Deck Devastation Virus. Dimensional Prison from... WC08 World Championship, maybe? I do think that is a pretty nice version, though. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Elemental Hero Neos, that's from the 10. Elemental Hero Prisma, that's pretty decent. Heraklinos, and oh my goodness, the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Check that thing out. Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, ultra rare. Amazing. Then we've got the 10 version from 2002 of Dark Magician. We got the LOB Blue Eyes. First Ed Summon Skull, dude. There's some nice cards in here. Really nice singles. This is really good. Oh, oh, I didn't remember these were in here. Stardust and Black Rose, Unlimited. Those have got to be some of the best cards ever. Just Stardust and Black Rose original, even Unlimited Ghosts are just some of the best cards ever made. First Ed Mystical Elf, we have a Big Shield Gardener from DB1. Cyber Jar from Hobby League and the promo of Harpy's Feather Duster. Is that it? I think that's it, but honestly, I mean, there were some big cards in here. This was a really sick collection. Really, really sick. I'm going to I'm gonna do uh, a little condition evaluation of all these after the video, you know, to try to figure out what we're going to end up buying this thing for. But really, really sick. I mean, this is just a reminder of some of these cards, especially this card being, like, actually pretty nice. Shining Flare Wingman. That is a sick collection. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We are almost to 250k. Like, we're, like, 5 plus k away. Like, it's getting, like, really fast. You guys are subscribing like crazy. So, keep doing that so we can open every pack ever made and hopefully pull a bunch of these cards that we've seen here. If we pulled a bunch of these cards, it would be one of the best openings ever because that would be absolutely insane. So, make sure you guys do that. Don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com if you want anything from this video. And, of course, check out Wield Goat if you want to see a little dueling from Ruxin. It's been a lot of fun. And if you guys haven't watched it yet, go give it a chance. All right, guys. I decided to show you guys this because i'm adding two of the cards from the collection to my edison deck the dark arm dragon and the armageddon knight both from phantom darkness i need to update both of those cards i dropped these cards everywhere the problem with double sleeving the cards are just everywhere all right we are actually to a deck that i can hold so we need to replace the arm dark arm dragon and the armageddon knight so first of all we have dark arm dragon from legendary collection copy collection unlimited so we've been like super low end on that one we are about to replace it with, some of you guys might be like, why not the ultimate rare? Get the turbo pack. First of all, this is the original print, so that's really cool. Second of all, turbo pack cards have terrible integrity. Like, they're so bendable. It's so easy to damage them. This is a legitimate old school card, the upper deck style. It's very, very sturdy comparatively to like the turbo pack stuff. So I like shuffling this thing around. I don't feel like I'm gonna bend it in half every time I use it. So that's why we're going with that Dark Arm Dragon. Very, very cool. Uh, where is the Armageddon Knight? Okay, so I had a 
da Dasa, Dark Saviors, I believe. So way old school. Let's try to get the, uh, not old school. I mean, way, way new school, I should say. This is just a regular super. Let's replace it with the new, and by new, I mean new to me, old Armageddon Knight. So it's actually not new at all. It's the oldest version, the original. I think this is like the high rarity. It's kind of crazy. Like this card's actually like good and modern. You know, they just, what would they put it to? Like three finally on the last ban list. And it still only has a super rare as its top print. So that's pretty cool to put that in there. Very nice additions to our goat deck that will help max this thing out very slowly. As you can see, Caius is going to be one we're never going to finish. Finally finished the Diva. Just one more quick look at some stuff. You guys can see what I need to fix. But just run through that real quick. For the most part, we have... I mean, the deck is getting close to max. So it's, it's going to be pretty sick. Bottomless is one that's going to be annoying as well. So great to update that. It's pretty amazing. Shout out to CJ for the awesome collection purchase. Shout out to Tolan Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Cheng Lang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.